strictly speaking, that's why you know we don't have time to go into the details of this. This would strict, strictly speaking, be the preferred approach. Is or let's just say this one because it's it's more comparable maybe because all the points are in the domain, but either one because they're both they both have this rotatability property which is face centered one doesn't have and it, it's desirable for design to be rotatable, okay. Um, but I have to admit for the example we did in the notes or the example I gave you yesterday we did a design like this, okay. So if you wondered where we you remember the thing I gave you yesterday there's 27 different experiments right. And if you looked at the values for the inputs for all those experiments, they were like minus 2 and 0 and plus 2, okay? The way we generated that was we did a, let's see if I can remember the details. I know we did a um, face-centered design. We called the lower limit for reasons we chose to be minus 2 and the upper <coughs> limit to be 2 and the nominal value to be 0. And we had five factors. So I and I think we just did, so I'd have to go back and look, but we did some fractional factorial design for five factors, combine that with a face centered design to get the star points and came up with the 27 experiments that you came up, with, that I showed you. So, because obviously if, if, if you look at the design I gave you last time, we didn't do all possible combinations, that's for sure. So I, we, we used MATLAB, came, did a fractional factorial design, combined it with some star points for a face-centered design, and came up with the 27 experiments. That's how that came. And you'll get some experience doing this on the homework. Okay. So, um, hey, why, why stop there? So this is the 27 experiments that we did. So I got this by going into MATLAB and doing a, a, a central composite design, a face-centered central composite design for five factors. Um, MATLAB naturally, as I recall, wants to give you a lower limit of, I think it wants to give you a lower limit of minus one and upper limit of plus one, but it might actually like a lower limit of zero and an upper limit of plus one. But you can map those any way you want. I map the lower value to minus two and the higher value to plus two and then um, had the center point here. So this is, so when you do the um, fractional factorial design, so it looks like Right, we had, okay, so now I know. We did a fractional factorial design. Um, how many experiments is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17? So I probably counted wrong. Why didn't, if I was smart, I'd count the other ones because it's less. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, so 16. So we had 16 designs from the factorial design. I'm trying to figure out what I did there. So I'm coming back here. And I'm trying to see, where do you get 16? Aha. To get 16, you do a one-half fractional factorial design for two levels. That's where we got six, the first 16 experiments. That's the first 16 right up to there. And then all these other things you see here are the star points, you know, for a face-centered design. It maintains the same values, upper and lower, because it's face-centered. And then you see the final experiment is, one, is the center point. Okay? Okay. And so this is exactly what we did in the um, little example we did with regression modeling. And this is the same kind of thing, I should say, that you're going to do on the homework that you guys have, okay? You're going to use, come up with some experimental designs. You're going to perform these designs on the simulator. We've built a simulator of the polymer reactor for you. It has all the equations. You don't need to know what they are of the reactor. And then it spits back data as if you did an experiment. So you can give it like all 27 of these experiments and then it spits back 27 sets of molecular weights, production rates, temperatures, and all that. And then you can do a bunch of analysis. We guide you through it. Hopefully you'll find it useful. Okay, I will see you next Tuesday.